Welcome to plus 2 CBSC Maths. Differentiation of exponential and logarithmic functions we are going to see today. <coughs> Under differential calculus, already we have seen about 47 problems and today we are continuing that. So today in this video, question number 48 to 55 we are going to do y equal to square root of x minus 3 into x square plus 4 divided by 3x square plus 4x plus 5 49 y equal to x plus 3 the whole square x plus 4 the whole power 3 x plus 5 power the whole power 4 In the next one y equal to x power of sin x 51 y power x plus x power y plus x power x equal to a power b ask in the board 2015 Question number 52 x cos x power x plus x sin x power 1 by x 53 log x power x plus x log x Question number 54 and 55 are screened 2014 x power m into y power n equal to x plus y the whole power of m m plus n Prove the dy by dx equal to y by x 55 y equal to tan inverse of a by x plus logarithm of root of x minus a by x plus a prove that y dash equal to 2a cube divided by x power 4 minus a power 4 all these are based on the logarithm wave property so before we go for that problems i will discuss that i will in short i will explain the logarithm wave properties logarithm I mean log of say pq some base must be there in log as far as calculus it is base is e this is called natural logarithm it may be based on 10 also so log pq to the base e means log p plus log q log p by q means log p minus log q log p power n means n log p to the base e and this is another property e power of log x is simply x with this in mind now let us go for the problems the question number 48 this is the whole power 1 by 2 you can do that so the entire thing you can consider as x in the mind so x power half 1 by 2 x power of minus 1 by 2 and then you have to go for this part u by v method laborious one instead of that we can go by logarithmic property take log on both sides so this is log y the whole thing is nothing by square root that is equal to 1 by 2 so you can write it as 1 by 2 times of log of the entire thing this you write 1 by 2 log this is a b so you write it as 1 by 2 log x minus 3 plus log x square plus 4 this is the denominator therefore minus log 3x square plus 4x plus 5 is it all right we are applying these two things log pq means pq means log p plus log q log of something by log of some log of something by something p by q equal to this minus this so minus after that the problem is very simple so 1 by 2 log of x minus 3 so you write it as 1 by x minus 3 the 1 by 2 is common plus log of something so therefore 1 by x square plus 4 by chain rule this x square plus 4 should be differentiated 2x uh, minus log of something therefore 1 by 3x square plus 4x plus 5 and then differentiating this one you will get 6x plus 4 we have differentiated what about this side log y which I have not differentiated so I have just started differentiating this so here I have to put 1 by y log y and y is there therefore dy by dx 
we are asked to find what is dy by dx. So what is dy by dx then? dy by dx equal to this y goes there. y by 2. y by 2 times of all those things. That's the end. So when the problems are coming like this with a lot of multiplication and division or square root logarithmic method is easy. You just take logarithm on both sides and then differentiate. Don't forget afterwards to put dy by dx equal to that y time. That is the same problem will come here. The same problem you have to write it and then by 2 in, in addition to that all those things. If you are using that u by v method the answer will be a different one. So don't get confused that we are getting different answers. This also on simplification you will be getting that. But we are not going to do that. We will leave it, leave it as it is. Now I will go for question number 49. Question number 49 y equal to product of 3 things x plus 3 the whole square x plus 4 the whole power 3 x plus 5 the whole power 4 you can do differentiation dy by dx in the normal way that is you take it as u v w so u v and then dw by dx plus v w du by dx and then afterwards u w dv by dx But instead of that, we are going to use logarithmic property. Take log on both sides because there is a product, product of something. So very easily the problem can be solved by taking log on both sides. So this is log y, product of things. Therefore log of something plus log of something plus. So this is power also. So you write 2 log x plus 3 product so plus 3 log x plus 4 and then plus 4 log x plus 5 is it all right because i am applying two things that is log p power n means n log of this and also i am applying this method so uh, 2 times of log of x plus 3 plus 3 times of log of x plus 4 plus 4 times of log of x plus 5 once you complete the differentiation in no time you can complete the problem 1 by y dy by dx equal to 2 divided by x plus 3 plus 3 divided by x plus 4 plus 4 divided by x plus 5 but this is 1 by y dy by dx therefore what is dy by dx y times of this so rewrite the problem and then leave it you can simplify also <coughs> but you can leave it also so this question definitely will not be asked on a board exam because such a simple problem. Only thing for going to a tougher problem before that, I am just discussing that how to apply logarithm. Okay, now question number 50 we will go. Y equal to x power of sin x. Whenever x appears in the powers, see x or functions of x appears in the powers you have to take only logarithm you cannot apply that y equal to x power n method so dy by dx equal to n times of x power of n minus 1 is not applicable for this so you have to go for logarithms whenever the problems of this type comes and this is an important model <coughs> now let us say logarithms so taking log on both sides log y is equal to sin x and log x this is uv method so this is 1 by y dy by dx so don't forget that multiplication product rule that is sin x and log x on differentiation x plus log x sin x on differentiation cos x therefore dy by dx is y times of this that is y is nothing but x power sin x and this is sin x divided by x plus log x and cos x problem is solved so take log on both sides and then apply that logarithmic proper property so sin x <coughs> log x the power is there therefore sin x log x then apply that product rule now i'll go for question number 51 this is a very important model y power x plus x power y plus x power x equal to a power b asked in 2015 
So there is a plus sign in between the y power x, x power y, x power x. You cannot take logarithm straight away. You can take logarithm only for this part, you can take for this part and you can take this part. Whenever there is a plus, there is no logarithm. So what you do is, you consider this as u and this is v and this is w. You give some names. Now you go one by one. So assume that u equal to y power x. Taking log on both sides, log u is equal to x log y. Now differentiate that 1 by u du by dx. Now product rule x log y therefore 1 by y since y is there dy by dx plus log y x1 differentiation 1. Therefore what is du by dx? du by dx is u, u will come over here that is y power of x and then comes x by y, y dash plus log y. Is it alright? So only one part we have done. So y power x if it is there then how will you differentiate it that I have done it. Now similarly you go for that v is equal to x power of y taking log on both sides what will happen log y is equal to y log of x log y log v. So 1 by v dv by dx therefore product rule y by x log x on differentiation plus log x and y on differentiation y dash then what about dv by dx so dv by dx is v times of that is x power y and then afterwards y by x plus y dash of log y and then what about w here is also x is there in the power therefore you have to take on log so w is equal to we are taking x power x therefore taking log on both sides that is log w is equal to x times of log of x so differentiating that this will be equal to 1 by w and then dw by dx and x into log x though so x log x is 1 by x and then log x x1 differentiation simply 1 so this is equal to 1 plus log x so what about dw by dx then dw by dx is w times w is what x power x of 1 plus log x the last part is a power b a is a constant so constant differentiation it will be 0 so this will not be appearing so what is the final answer then for this one you write this du by dx plus this one plus this one that is your answer <coughs> very important one the students generally commit mistakes they take logarithms log of x plus y plus log of y plus x plus log of x plus x something they write it you cannot take logarithms whenever there is a plus or minus sign logarithm is applicable only for product of something or division so division of some functions so you have to do it separately considering it as a function this is another function this is another function you take it as u b w or any other alphabet you use it so that's how you have to do this so this type of problem is asked little bit repeatedly i can say now i go for question number 52 50 second problem just like that 50 first problem some term the power is i uh, variable that is x and again plus x i and x power 1 by x so as i said in the previous problem you have to consider as a two different functions say let it be u and let it be v so u is x cos x the whole power x therefore i can take log i have to take log only to solve the problem log u is equal to x times of log of x cos x is it all right then what i do log a b is log x plus log cos x log a b is log a plus log b so you write it now you go ahead this is x times of log x plus x times of log cos x i have not even started differentiating i have rewritten only this is log u now start differentiating log u on differentiation 1 by u du by dx 
Now apply product rule x log x on differentiation 1 by x then plus log x differentiation of x is 1 and coming to this one x log of cos x so 1 by cos x cos x on differentiation minus sin x plus log cos x I will write it here plus log cos x and differentiation of x is 1 so this can be simplified as 1 so the answer for this problem is 1 plus log x and then minus x times of tan x sin by cos plus log cos x this is 1 by u du by dx 1 by u du by dx but what is du by dx that's what i want so du by dx is u times of those things or those things you write it is it okay so x cos x power x so x times the log of x cos x so u e method sorry sorry log of a b therefore log a plus log b so x log x plus x log cos x product rule x log x on differentiation 1 by x log x keep it uh, constant and x on differentiation 1 so like that here also you go x uh, log of cos x is 1 by cos and cos on differentiation minus sign therefore sign by cos tan that minus i have put it here and last part is log cos x into 1 so that is 1 by u du by dx but we got actually du by dx so multiply that with u now let me go for this part so this is equal to v x times of sin x the whole power of 1 by x take log on both sides log v is equal to 1 by x log of x sin x now this will be 1 by x log a b is nothing but log of a plus log of b so after that what will happen <coughs> 1 by x and uh, this is log x plus 1 by x log sin x this is log v therefore what is log v a differentiation 1 by v dv by dx here you apply a product rule so 1 by x log x again on differentiation 1 by x and then taking log x and differentiating 1 by x you will be getting minus of 1 by x square next part 1 by x log sin x so 1 by sin x sin x on differentiation cos x and then log sin x 1 by x on differentiation minus 1 by x square that's all therefore what is dv by dx then dv by dx equal to v times of this part 1 by x square minus 1 by x square times of log x plus 1 by x cot x minus 1 by x square log sin x you write v don't forget to put v so you have done separately u and v now what is dy by dx then you add these two du by dx plus dv by dx your answer is that so it's a nice problem to test your understanding in differentiation so product rule we have come come across and uh, logarithmic the property also we have come across so normally this type of problem we are expecting now i go for question number 53 have you understood this right similar to the previous problem so here also two things two functions in between there is a plus so straight logarithm for the entire problem is not possible so you do consider this is u so this is log x the whole power of x now taking log on both sides log u is equal to x times of log x so log u on differentiation 1 by u du by dx uh, this on differentiation x log x on differentiation 1 by x plus log x x on differentiation 1 so this is du by dx is therefore u times of this is 1 so 1 plus log x so write the du the function
the log x the whole power of x don't forget that don't believe that yet u so you have to put it properly the log x the whole power of x into 1 plus log x for all the problems you have to complete like this now taking v is equal to x power of log x and differentiating that so before that you take log therefore log v is equal to log x and then again log x log x and then log therefore this becomes 1 by v dv by dx keeping this is u and this is v log x and differentiate log x is x 1 by x sorry then taking this one again log x and this log x on differentiation 1 by x so this part is equal to therefore du by dv by dx is v times of that is x power of log x and this is lcm is x therefore this is nothing but 2 times of log x so the answer is this dv by dx then what is dv by dx this plus this over so i hope that i have explained very clearly and for your understanding and there will be no doubt now going, we are going for the 54th problem so before starting the class i said that logarithm is a must whenever x appears in the powers whereas here normally m and n m and n are some numbers for doing this problem also logarithm will be very useful instead of going by usual method take log on both sides so this will be m log x and this is n log y is it not so x power m therefore m log x there is a product so plus n log y equal to what happened here this is will be m plus n and log of x plus y now differentiate it m and this is by x this is n by y and don't forget to put dy by dx that is equal to m plus n log of x plus y therefore 1 by x plus y and then that x plus y I have to differentiate therefore that is equal to 1 plus y dash this is y 1 this is on differentiation dy by dx so this part you write it as m plus n divided by x plus y into 1 plus that y dash here also we have the same thing okay well now take all the dy by dx to one side so what happened what happened here so since i have m plus on y dash i take this one so i take this m plus n divided by x plus y i am taking this to the other side instead of writing it here i am writing it here that's all so m plus n by x plus y into y dash and this when it comes minus n by y dash equal to m plus n divided by x plus y this into this and then this m by x comes here so minus whether this part is clear so i am taking i am keeping all y dash on one side and the remaining the other side <coughs> m plus n by x plus y into y dash and uh, I am keeping this side therefore it comes here n by y n by y minus y dash so what happens to the other one then so instead of that I will write properly so that don't get confused so let me take this one so this is m by x and this one when I am taking here m plus n divided by x plus y is it not now here m plus n divided by x plus y into y dash minus n by y is it alright now is it okay so the y dash I am keeping here therefore m plus n x plus y y dash and this comes here minus n y and this one m by x and this I am taking there so m plus n by x plus y now what is the other alternative you have to take only LCM you take LCM x times of x plus y so result is that m times of x plus m times of y this into this minus x into this part so that part I am taking minus outside and then mx plus nx and similarly taking here x plus y and y as LCM 
and this part will be equal to m plus n into y m y plus n y and this one becomes minus n x and minus n y i not put the bracket i have straight away taken the <coughs> remove the bracket also minus n x and minus n y and this is into that y dash is there so removing the bracket what happens here minus m x and minus n x will come is it not minus m x i am putting that minus m x and minus n x now both sides i can cancel this x plus y this n y and minus n y get cancelled and m x also get cancelled the result is that we have m y minus n x by x equal to this that is m y minus n x by x equal to m y minus n x fortunately we have the same thing so y dash so numerator is the same therefore they get cancelled therefore what happens to y dash y dash equal to this i am cancelling off y dash equal to this y goes there so y by x we have proved it so by taking logarithm the problem is very becoming very simple so keep it in mind that x power m into y power n equal to x plus by the whole power of m plus n generally x power of log x or y power uh, something is there then only we take logarithms but for this problem logarithm helps you to reach the answer quickly so am i clear so students we are going for the last uh, problem for this video if all these problems are up to your expectation then why don't you subscribe or like it and share with your friends i go for now question number 55 the last problem y equal to tan inverse of a by x plus log of root of x minus a by x plus a and you have to prove that dy by dx equal to 2a cube divided by x power 4 minus a power 4. So taking the straight away I am going for the differentiation so dy by dx what is tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square here x instead of that you have a by x so it will become a by x square. Before that, let me just simplify and then go for the differentiation because log root is there. So this problem is now y equal to tan inverse of a by x plus log of something. Therefore, this is square root 1 by 2 times of log x minus a and minus a log of x plus a because log a by b is log a minus log b. So rewrite the problem and then start differentiating the function. So y equal to this. Therefore, I can say dy by dx equal to 1 by 1 plus x square. That is 1 by 1 plus a by x the whole square. But a by x is again I have to differentiate. That is minus of a by x square. Don't forget that. Now coming to this side 1 by 2 log of something. Therefore 1 by x minus a. And this is x plus a, therefore log of x plus a is 1 by x plus a. That completes the problem. So d by dx equal to this part. Now let us simplify this. So this will be equal to minus a. And this x square is there. If this is a square by x square and then x square on taking LCM, this becomes x square plus a square divided by a square. I am sorry, x square. So the x square get cancelled. Is it clear? Minus a by x square. And this part is a by x the whole square. So a square by x square. So x square plus a square by x square. This x square get cancelled. Now coming to this part 1 by 2. Take LCM of x minus a into x plus a. Because that becomes x square minus a square. And this one taking further LCM. I can get this result. So now what will happen here, this is x plus a and then minus of this, so minus x and plus a, this get cancelled. Now we have minus a divided by x square plus a square and here is 2a, 2a by 2 and this is x square minus a square this get cancelled so minus a plus a don't get cancelled because there is a difference in the denominator x square plus a square and x square minus a square take lcm now 
so this will become x power 4 minus a power 4 the minus a i'm just a i'm taking out so this part will be equal to minus 1 minus 1 into this part x square minus a square i have taken a therefore it will become plus 1 and this will come x square plus a square now remove the bracket so a is there so minus x square plus a square and then again x square plus a square divided by x power 4 minus a power 4 result is that this get cancelled this is actually a square and a square 2 a square another one a is there so therefore 2 a cube divided by that x power 4 minus a power 4 that's what you have to prove we got it so very simple problem so here you should not forget this part that is don't stop it that log tan inverse x equal to 1 by 1 plus x square that a by x has to be further differentiated you take it in do mind otherwise the problem is very simple if you take log for this log of a minus log of b so another some, some eight problems i think we have done today some more problems we will see in the next class thank you for watching